Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Today's episode I'm going to give you a tour of the dry goods and all of the coral at Deer Park Aquarium. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs and apologies for the lack of videos lately. As you may or may not know, Victoria is in a statewide lockdown due to COVID-19 and um, that has restricted obviously my ability to get out to stores and people's tanks and things like that. So producing content has been a little bit scarce, I guess in the aquarium world anyway, because I've been fairly busy producing content with my daughter doing homeschooling and that has been a lot of fun. But uh, thankfully I've got some footage to share with you guys from Deer Park Aquarium where I work on Saturdays. I was able to quickly grab the camera out and do a door tour just before we opened the doors. Now the plan was to get the fish in this tour as well, but uh, by the time I covered all the dry goods and then the corals in store in stock, it was time to open up the door and get uh, on with the day's trade. So uh, maybe I'll be able to do the fish in another video coming up soon. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna roll the footage so you guys can check out all of the amazing dry goods and corals at Deer Park Aquarium. All right, let's do it in a deer park aquarium just before we flick the sign over to open. All right, we'll start off with a huge range of dry goods. Got some uh, UV sterilizers in there, the Aqua Twists, I believe they are. Got a whole heap of radians in, Vectras, Vortex, mounts, accessories, you name it, it's all there. AI Hydras. 32s, 64s, primes, fuges, Kamoa, we've got water changes, dosing pumps, single dosing pumps, KH Guardians in stock up there, Auto Aqua Top Offs, Kessel 500s, GHL kits in both the uh, Prophylax Mini, also the KH Director in a standalone setup, so you can get that without the Prophylax. Got those. Uh, refill ATOs, the uh, entry price point ATOs, Triton tests, including their standard ICP and the uh, NDOC. Got the PacSun camera look down tubes. Anyone that's taking photography of their coral, you wanna get yourself one of those. Good assortment of sinking flow color fittings. Over this way, we got uh, some Fauna Marine RTN slash STNX. Got some uh, live phyto copepods, some reduced to clear aquaforest test kits. Good assortment of uh, Reef Revolution and Coral Essentials. Got some of the uh, aquaforest liquid foods. Got some of their fish foods, Vitalis fish foods, probiotics. New Life Spectrum probiotics foods. Got the uh, aquaforest range of uh, powdered supplements. Um, including their reef minerals, salt carbons, life biofill, their DI resin. Over here, we've got uh, the Aquaforest component ABC, Dr. Tim's range, Aquaforest components one, two, three. Got some uh, battery backups, got all the uh, HANA checkers, got, uh, let's have a look, some HANA reagents and uh, calibration fluids in both a uh, four, seven, and 10 pH, their salinity, Got uh, backup curvettes, or cuvettes, however you want to pronounce that. Got uh, the reagents, including a uh, small assortment of uh, alkalinity reagents. Pop on over this way, you can see a fair wall of uh, boxes from uh, stock that came in yesterday. Got a good assortment of uh, artificial rock there. Um, you can come in and scape up whatever you need to scape up to get your tank looking really nice. Got some uh, Aqua One mini reefs in stock there. Also got this uh, little ready to go Nano, 650 bucks with the uh, light, fan, tank and stand. Return pump as well, I believe. Looks like a uh, aquatic life hybrid fixture up there. Coming across this way, we've got uh, the new battery backup range in there. And small batteries, big batteries, the uh, splitters, 24 volt boosters for Vectras. Got some of the uh, ever popular power distribution boards there including some uh, Tunzi skimmers from both the uh, nano size up to the big size, some reef salt, huge assortment of uh, Tunzi accessories here from their uh, wave makers, their return pumps, magnet cleaners, got a good assortment of uh, bio bricks and calcium reactor media, no shortage of uh, Clarice uh, replacement rolls, 
Salafit test kits, Continuum products. Got some uh, basic heaters in. I can see uh, the uh, Senai slides, the uh, Auto Aqua TDS meters, the full assortment of the uh, two little fishies magnet clean, uh, magnet seaweed clips. You got the uh, standard one, the pouch one, the uh, feeding ring, and the uh, mega magnet one. Down into some sea torch accessories down here from their uh, dosing vessels to their uh, fish traps to their uh, basic skimmer. And uh, we'll head on in and check out the livestock. All right, let's head in and check out some of the livestock. We'll start off with this tank because, uh, man, there's some color in here from uh, such a crazy assortment of goniopora. Check out the uh, red with yellow eyes. You've got a couple of different grades of red, I guess. You've got the green with blue eyes, more red at the back there. This absolutely insane Inferno goniopora there. Got some uh, frosted rose bubble tips, a nice red on red there. Uh, even some green star polyps that people have been chasing lately. Absolutely bonkers. Come on over and check out the coral in this system here. Got some uh, war corals there, some really nice chalice, lobos. Uh, what are those guys called again? The bower bankies. Some different colors of bower bankies. We've got uh, some gorgeous cataphilia down here, some elegance corals. Nice little trio of frog spawn there. Some uh, recordia here. Have a look at this guy there. Gorgeous. Look at the sweepers coming out from that frog spawn, just letting the Cynaria know it's there. Gorgeous Cynaria at that. A couple of nice variants of Blasto there. Some uh, small dash in the background. And this little lobo here. Check out the colors on this guy. Absolutely gorgeous. Pan across to the next $120 tank. This is where uh, the uh, huge assortment of hammers are. Each one of these hammers in there are $120 Australian each. Absolute steal. And uh, you can see there's no shortage to pick from. Popping up onto the rack up the top, we've got some gorgeous trachophilia, some scollies, acan, some beautiful spotted morphs, lobos, gonies. Have a look from the top so you can really take in the colors. Check out the, um, the uh, lobo there. Pink with yellow. Spotted morphs are just stunning. And some of those scollies in there are, wow, really nice. All right, into the $80 tank. Got a crazy collection of chalice in here. Have a look from the top. I don't know why chalice is not more popular than it is when you see the uh, growth pattern, the colors. Have a look at uh, this guy here. Blue with red eyes, just cracking piece. Next, we've got pink with yellow eyes. Then you've got a red with yellow eyes. Some nice lobos up there too. This one up here has been intriguing me. In that back corner there, it's got these white mouths on it. At first I thought that was some sort of bug, but no, they're just this weird white spotted mouth, crazy stuff. And then we come down into the bottom of this tank, we've got uh, some morphs, some uh, recordias, some trackies, some more chalice, cynarias, some beautiful recordias, some nice goni frags, some elegance, nice uh, green tip torch. Into this tank here, we've got some really nice redactors in here. Check out this uh, red fluffy Rodactus in the background there. Got this bounce, it's hard to pick up on camera, but he's got some really nice bounces on him. A red with some bounces. Got this absolutely stunning forest fire there. This recorder is still opening in the background there, but he's pink and yellow. Got a orange with a blue ring. Got a rock here with, uh, I wouldn't call them pups, they're a decent size, but there's a good six or more recorder on that for uh, $400. This beautiful piece here, Try and get behind the uh, price tag. He's only $150, really nice Rick. Uh, got this cracking ACAN there. Some absolutely top of the line gold chalice from uh, aquaculture pieces to wild collected. This guy here is wild collected. Some nice trachophilia, some scollies. In fact, have a look at some of the colors of those trackies. You can see the prices of them on the glass there. Super affordable for the uh, variance of colors in there. Really nice elegance coral and check out this gold bower banky up in the corner here. This thing's been here for a few weeks. I don't know how. Absolutely cracking piece. All right, on to probably one of the cheapest tanks in the uh, store. $45 a piece in here and there's all sorts in here from uh, some uh, hammer frags to some helios uh, to some chalice 
to some uh, button scullies, some bubble corals. Up the top here, there's all sorts of uh, acans going on up here for $45 a piece. You can see the color on those guys there. You can build yourself a garden of those very cheaply. In fact, three for 120. I'm gonna pick out a few different acans and get that color popping in your tank. If you want to spec that up a little bit more, come across to the $60 tank. We're still not talking huge amounts of money, but uh, some of the acans in here are really, really nice. See some real contrasting colors in there. Beautiful pieces. And uh, down the bottom, we've got some leather corals. We've got some morgonies, some uh, branching torches, cynarias and uh, some less ultra-grade trachophilias, but uh, at $60 a piece, still some very nice units in there. Onto the next $60 tank, we've got some really nice Lobo in here. Have a look at these guys. The colors on this guy's pretty cool with the uh, purple, green, and blue. This one surprises me that it's been here. He's got gold speckles all through him. Beautiful Lobo. And we've got some very nice elegance in here. Some real toxic ones going on there. Nice pieces up the top there, got some Favias. Nice little bow banky there. Nice Duncan over there. And uh, these Sifastrias here are quite nice. Purple base with uh, green polyps. On to the $35 frag tank. $35 each or three for 90. So much going on in here, I'm not gonna try and label them all, but you got some fungias, um, some nice little uh, dome ones there. You got some flat ones down here. Um, you got some goni frags, blasto frags, acan frags. Three for 90, you can really dip your toe into the water with a few different corals at once and um, see what works for you in your tank. But uh, some cool, cool pieces in there. At the end of this bay here, Got two really nice Hedoni carpets, a pink in there, and uh, what's labeled as a purple, but it, to my colorblind eyes, looks very blue. It's fine by me, I'd probably rather blue. Gorgeous piece. At the end of the next bay, got these special limited edition Zoas from Cairns Marine. Got some really bright colors to them, very nice. And then over here, we got some huge acans. Really, really nice acans. Have a look at the colors on these guys. Talking 80 bucks or something the size of, maybe not quite my hand, but uh, <laughs> at least a uh, adolescent's hand. This one here, this big piece here is the size of my hand. Absolute monster with some beautiful colors and banding through him. Guy at the back there has got some really nice contrast with the red and teal. And then there are some more frocks there as well over into this system here. It's got some pretty high-end bits and pieces in it. We've got some deshies. This guy's puffed up trying to steal the light from uh, the guy in the background there, but uh, check out the twin head deshi there. That is a naturally formed twin head deshi with some ultra, ultra coloration on it. This guy here is quite nice with the green and gold. Coming across into a couple of really bright bower bankies. Gorgeous uh, goni frag there. 24K gold torch, Hulk torch, candy cane, and then up into some of the nicest hammers in store at the moment. I really like uh, this guy here with the tiny little, uh, little heads on him. Just gives a nice contrast to the other hammers because it has so many little uh, tentacles in the same amount of space as the other ones. But uh, this yellow stem with uh, purpley tips is really nice. The toxic green's really nice. Some of the golds are very nice as well. Over across into the SBS tanks, $45 a piece or three for 120. These guys have got some nice color as well. Some really nice pieces down here. Your peach colors, teal colors, pinks, branching, smooth skins. Whatever you're chasing, we can get there. It's kind of hard to see with the uh, coral curves from the top down, but uh, you can see through the side, really nice colors on those pieces. Over into the final bank of uh, coral tanks, got some really nice scollies in here. Check out these guys. This uh, little one in the back corner here, it's got some really nice uh, color variants in there from greens to yellows to reds to purples. 
these other two, that one in particular is massive, absolutely huge scully, really nice, quite like these Acans in here too, this one, the gold and teal gives really nice contrast, some Blasto there, some more hammers of various colours and shapes, and then uh, down the bottom we've got some really nice uh, elegance too, these ones have got a bit of white splashed through them, there's some really nice leathers in at the moment too, including if we pan across this toxic leather in there, it's just absolutely gorgeous and then uh, there's a little guy hiding in the background there a little uh, I say little he's pretty big coral cod have a look at the colors on him he uh, opened up his mouth before and um, gave me a little look at his teeth and um, I'd rather keep my fingers out of there if possible and then uh, over into this tank here we've got uh, some bicolor anthias terrified of the camera hiding under the rack all schooling together very nicely I oh, know there is two schools of them there's another sort Another set up under there. We've got uh, some SBS brownouts that are going cheap. $20 each, buy one, get one free. In other words, two for 20 bucks. Some really nice size pieces in there. There's some more torch hammers. Some of the uh, toxic green mouths with uh, purple stems, pink tips. Some more 24 gold, carat golds. Some more SBS and a couple more hammers. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of the dry goods and the coral at Deer Park Aquarium. Now, I guess it goes without saying that this video was obviously recorded ahead of time. So everything you saw in the video may not still be available, but if there was anything you're interested in, feel free to reach out to the team at Deer Park Aquarium, shoot their uh, Facebook page a message and let them know what piece of coral or dry goods you saw that you were chasing and they can let you know if it is still available or if they've got something similar in stock that might, uh, you never know, it might even suit you more. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback, anything at all, pop it in the comment section down below. I do personally reply to each and every comment in there. Other than that, guys, stay safe and enjoy your reef keeping. Cheers. Bye.